Hi friends. On our mathematician or math response this week, I gave you some tricky problems and I think we should go over them together. So here's one. A baby giraffe was 38 inches tall. He grew taller each day. Now the baby giraffe is 73 inches tall. How much did the baby giraffe grow? So we've got to think about this. Let's go one sentence at a time like we did in school. A baby giraffe was 38 inches tall. So I'm picturing a baby giraffe and he's 38 inches tall. The next sentence says, he grew taller each day. So what's happening to my baby giraffe? He's growing taller. Now my baby giraffe is 73 inches tall. How much did the baby giraffe grow? So I still only have one baby giraffe. And he started out as 38 inches, and then he grew to be 73 inches. So what we want to find out is how much does it take to get from 38 to 73? That means I'm looking for the difference. When I think about the difference, that is a clue word or a key word for subtracting. So in this problem, where I'm trying to figure out what the difference is between my baby giraffe when he first started, 38 inches, and now that he's 73 inches, I have to subtract. Now that I've decided that I need to find the difference, which means I need to subtract, I can do the steps. I can circle my numbers, which are 38 inches and 73 inches. And we have to remember that when we're subtracting, we have to start with a bigger number. I'm going to use base 10 blocks to find the answer. That's my strategy I choose. I'm also going to be doing an equation because I think that a lot of parents or aunties or uncles or grandmas or grandpas are a little more familiar with this and more comfortable with it. So I'm going to show you with base 10 blocks how it relates to doing it in a traditional or standard problem. Are you ready? All right. So here I have my two different strategies for solving this problem. The pink one is probably what most parents, aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, are used to doing when they see math. The one that's written in the black pen is how we're going to solve with base 10 blocks. I'm going to be doing both, so hopefully we can all understand a little better what the base 10 block strategy really means. Here we go, okay. So I'm starting with the number 73. It's the bigger number. It's how much my baby giraffe grew to be. 73 has a seven in the tens place and a three in the ones place. That's this, seven tens, that's 70, and three ones, that's three. So in my base 10 block picture, I need to have seven rods or tens and three cubes or ones. Here are my seven tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and my three cubes, one, two, three. Since I'm subtracting or trying to find the difference, I'm going to be crossing some things out. Now, I'm trying to take away 38 because that's how many inches my giraffe was when he started, right? So if I look here at my picture, I realize I cannot take away eight from three. It's impossible, I don't have enough. So because I don't have enough, I'm going to have to come over here to my rods or my tens place and I'm going to have to regroup or take one of these rods away and trade it in or make it 10 cubes. So 
that looks like this. I'm getting rid of this rod and I'm going to make it into 10 cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I regrouped this rod and I made it into 10 cubes. So now I have these 10 cubes plus these three more. So when I come over here to my standard problem, I don't have seven rods anymore. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, only six. So my 70 has now become 60. And I don't just have these three cubes anymore over here either. Now I have three plus those 10 more and that's 13. So now I have six rods, that's 60, and then I have 13 cubes. Here's my six for 60 and 13 cubes. Okay, now that I set up my problem, I'm ready to subtract my 38. So can I take eight away from here? Of course. So I'm going to do that right now. Put this over here. So now I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That leaves me with one, two, three, four, five. That leaves me with five. And if I look over here, 13 minus eight is in fact five. So essentially I had 13, I just took away my eight and I have five left. Now I'm ready for my rods and I'm taking away three one, two, three, which leaves me with three rods. Over here, I had six. I'm taking away three. That's equal to three. So now I have the answer 35. And if I count over here, I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So my picture shows 10, 20, 30, and five cubes, that's 30 plus five. And my algorithm or equation or number sentence also shows 35. Like I said, these problems are a little bit tricky and I know that it takes some thinking, but we just have to go sentence by sentence so that we're able to figure out exactly what our problem wants us to do. We wanted to find the difference between 38 inches and 73 inches, and that meant we needed to subtract. So we used our subtracting, and our answer, again, is 35. I'm so glad that you tried. I know it was hard at some points, but the more we practice, the easier it will become. Great job, my friends.